and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, well, welcome. If you're a turning in subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my camera bag. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's get started. So the only thing that is not in my camera bag right now that is usually in my camera bag is the camera I'm currently filming on which is a T6i and my 18-55mm to lens which I'm using to film this video. But we are going to start with the top portion of this bag. This is a camera bag. It is made for camera supplies. I am not sure um, what brand it is because I did receive this as a Christmas present two years ago. So the first thing that when you open it up, it has a zipper pocket here, which I keep um, hair ties, bobby pins, a lip gloss, a pen, a pencil, and a liquid lipstick. So the reason I have um, pens and paper is because I also keep a little notebook in my bag at all times. Um, so I can have clients write down their phone number and email if I need to contact them again. It's just a hard copy just in case if something is wrong with my computer um, or my iPad. But um, I also write down notes if I'm meeting with a client sometimes in here, but usually not. Um, and another thing I have is a pass to um, a place that I shoot for often, just so people know what I'm doing there. Um, another thing I have is this little container, which contains flash drives. Um, usually I usually I will give one of these flash drives to a client um, once their photos are all done if they don't want to supply their own flash drive, which I usually um, ask because if you do want a flash drive, it ends up costing you more. And I like saving my customers money. The last thing that is in the front part of my backpack is in this pocket back here, which is like a computer compartment, which I keep my iPad in if I am going to meet with a client, just so I can write down some of their notes. Um, usually if I have that in there, I will also have my Apple Pencil so I can take more productive notes. I actually am not going to keep that in there because I don't have any photo shoots planned currently. The other half of the bag is down in here and this is where I keep most of my camera gear. When I am going to shoot, I keep my camera and the lens I plan on using up here just so it's easier to access. Um, but it just, the bottom just opens up like this and then it has this compartment which I never zip because it's already zipped. <laughs> There's a compartment in here which I'm going to get out. And you just pull it out like this. I hardly ever take it out because it is not really necessary to have out because I can just unzip it from the top, like so. Um, here there is two places to keep SD cards. Um, I don't really use that because I have this little handy thing, which is a waterproof, drop-proof case for SD cards. And I have a few more SD cards, but one is currently plugged into my computer because I was doing some editing earlier. And then I have one in this camera and then one is just outside because it is a card that is completely full. But as you can see, I have a uh, array of different types. Um, my uh, stepdad gave me a few um, of his old SD cards and then my for Christmas and birthdays, I asked for SD cards because I have a problem where I like to hoard photos and SD cards just allow me to hold on to them just a little longer. Next, in the next compartment, I'm just going down like this. So this is where I keep the SD card. This is a um, 55 to 250 lens right here. Um, I don't normally use this lens, but it is really good if you are doing landscape photography or you're taking pictures of the sky. I currently just shot the... Um, lunar eclipse on it so I will insert some photos 
here. In the same pocket, I keep the extra battery that I keep on me. Um, it's usually fully charged. And if I am going on a shoot, I will have my charging block in here. But I currently left that on my mom's by accident. But it is usually in this pocket here. Next is my 50mm lens. It has an aperture of 1.8 and it is an SMT. Um, Sigma lens I think is what that's called um, it does not have the stabilization um, which I know some people prefer some people don't I think I prefer having stabilization but you know get what you get next I have this which is to a um, travel uh, ring light that I currently I don't think I have in here with me but usually if I go on shoots I have it but I've been filming recently so I have used that but it just gets stored in here um, and then the last thing in here is this and this is a flash that I got for my birthday it looks just like this and you can rotate it it's overall a very nice lens or er, it overall is a very nice flash i've used it for a few times i um was asked to do some photos for a softball team and they wanted to do it as the sun was setting and there were a lot of them so i did have to pull this um, out and it was very very useful and for after shoots, I always keep my hydro in my car because I get very, very thirsty. Also, I don't want to be lugging this around. So that is all the stuff that I normally take on a photo shoot and what is currently in my camera backpack. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the like button down below. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click one of the two boxes over here or my face over here. If you want to see more of my life, you can check out my social media. They will be linked down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to be yourself because you can only self you're ever going to be. Bye!